Saturday the 9th of June was a special day for many Nayland seniors as they got to take part in the annual school ball at the Trafalgar Centre. An event like this doesn't happen by itself. Alice Scott, a dean at Nayland College, worked with a large group of students to make the night happen. I talked to her to find out what was involved. So we had quite a large um, social committee this year for the ball. There was around 20 kids, only one boy, yeah. but 20 kids. But they were all really good, all really enthusiastic and wanting to be a part of it, not just wanting to be there for the um, pleasure of saying, I, w- I did this. Um, but worked really well together. There was no sort of popularity contest going on. They were all really wanting to just have a really sophisticated and cool evening, and that's what it turned out to be. So, that was yeah. Yeah. so what was sort of, what happened, what had to happen on the day to kind of get your things organised? So so the setup on the day was um, quite good, really. So we got there about 9 o'clock in the morning, um, and all the kids um, turned up then as well, so that was a really good start to the day. Um, We just had to put all the tables out. We had great people from Got It Covered who came and bought all our centrepieces and things like that. So we spent about three hours on setup, just um, making everything look pretty, putting lights up and getting up ladders and putting ivy around tables and planting crazy rabbits around the place to to give it that enchanted forest theme. It seems from the students I spoke to that the committee's hard work paid off with students coming away with many highlights from a memorable night. Um, the dance floor, the right, floor. Good dance, yeah, yeah, good music. It was really yeah. nice up as well. Yeah, yeah. Well. catering was great. Nice. Oh, the photos. Yeah, the photos. Photos, yeah. Yeah. photos were fun. Yeah, I really liked it. To be honest. <laughs> I rate it like 10 out of 10, like it's good experience, especially on your first time, you know, like, yeah. I just like it when there's like a, you know, how the photographers take pictures with yeah, us, yeah. like different style, like, you know, poses and angles like that, you know, I really enjoy like the photo booth, the photo booth as, photo well. Booth as well, you know. Because like, it was free. Yeah, it was right. free, like, you could take yeah. a lot of pictures, like, oh, you know, on. like. Well, I just had a really good time, it was, um, I don't know, there, was, there wasn't really any boring moments, I, if I had nothing to do, I'd run over, take some photos with friends. The food. The food was the food good. The food was good, they had really good little sliders, they like little hamburger things. Oh, and the drinks were nice. Yeah, they had good drinks. like coats and stuff. Oh. Wait, they had their coats, what? Oh, you didn't get the whole experience then. <laughs> no, I only had like the orange stuff. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like the photo booth. That was fun. Oh yeah, the photo booth. Unlimited yeah. uh, photos. <laughs> yeah. The highlights for me was um, just the way that the kids loved the evening. Like it was pretty obvious when usually when I've been to a ball before, they're they're sort of wanting to get out the door by the end of the night. Um, This time we were kind of pushing them out the door, which shows to me that they really enjoyed the evening. They wanted to stay on, um, and it was um, you know they everyone was having a good time. There was a good band there that um, got everybody up singing and dancing quite early on. One of the great things about the ball is it gives our students a chance to dress up. This year, Nayland students brought their A-game, but who was best dressed on the night? Uh, I reckon Mitchell did look quite good. Yeah, Mitchell yeah. did look good. Mitchell, yeah. so, what did he do? He was uh, just in a nice suit. No, he just, looked, he just looked like pretty dapper in his yeah. suit, like nothing Swap. crazy. Yeah, yeah. just looked sick. I don't Thing know. Uh, Juliet looks so good. That yeah. oh, her dress is really pretty, yeah. I don't know. I wasn't... <laughs> I didn't really take score. I don't know. I mean, if I... <laughs> I don't know. There's a, there was a lot of. I think Brayden had a really nice blue suit on. I'm mm-hmm. not sure. There was a, there was multiple people that I like liked what they were dressing dressed like, but I'm not sure. Yeah, everyone looked really good. Oh, it's a chance to be a grown up because you're getting dressed up, and you mm. don't get that many opportunities to actually put a pretty dress on or get a suit on and things like that. And and you're getting treated a bit more like an adult because the staff are there to enjoy enjoy it with you. Um, and it's a really lovely evening to see students all dressed up and, and sophisticated as well. They want to show off um, and what they've been doing and, and what dresses, where they've got their dress mm-hmm. from. And, you know, um, there were some different suits this year, not just your normal black ones. So that, that was exciting too, just seeing yeah. best dressed and things Did like that. Did you have a personal best dress? Oh, look, there were, um, my, one of my favourites were the girls with Shivana Byrne. She was just beautiful in a, um, a nice sort of lime green dress. Um, Jake Hall looked good and suave and his, his um, outfits with suspenders on as well, so I thought that was, that was pretty cool as well. There was also some debate over who was the cutest couple. It was oh, Ivy and Tice. Yeah. 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 And Prince and Princess was... was wasn't it? Harry yeah. and Tyler. Oh, Mayor and Daniel. Oh, yeah? Yes, Mayor and Daniel. <laughs> I really liked Ola and her boyfriend. They mm-hmm. look really cute. Mm, okay. Probably, if you know, Tice and Ivy were oh, yeah. together. Okay. Really good vibe that we had. They dressed together, you know.
with many schools doing away with traditional school balls, are they still an important part of being a high school student? Do they remain that rite of passage that people remember years and years later? The Nayland students I spoke to seem to think that they most certainly are. Especially the year 13 ball, it's kind of like one of the last times we're all together at school. Yeah, it's kind of a good time to be together, I guess, with everyone. Yeah. Awesome. And you like kind of talk to, you can talk to year 12s, even though you don't really talk to them still. Yeah, 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 yeah it's it's, it runs just together. And... I don't know, come together and like be in, be in like that sort of state of mind, where, or not state of mind, but be dressed up like that. I don't know, and have, just have a lot of yeah, fun. Like, something it's, to look forward to for yeah. the school year as well, I it's guess. It's always iconic, sort of almost Yeah, it's like yeah. the school ball. Like everyone, it's traditional. Yeah. yeah. Everyone looks forward to it. Um, a good way to like, socialise outside of like, class. Yeah. It's yeah. fun to see everyone all dressed up and, I don't know, just get a bit of a formal event in mm. yeah. yeah. school. Because yeah. everyone gets together, they can have fun mm-hmm. dancing and... Yeah, yeah that's right. Like, it's really important, especially in your year 13, that, you know, yes. you really need to enjoy your... Teenager, like it's like it's part of yeah. experience, you know, like get together, like enjoy, have fun.